It's a burning issue with many people looking at new cars today. Gas prices going through the roof, cutting into family budgets, forcing them to make decisions they don't want to make. Understandably, the price at the pump, $1.45 a litre in Metro Vancouver today, and how to avoid paying it is the bone of contention at this year's auto show. So I'm trying to see if I can get a diesel car. I think it will be a better mileage. You have to spend a couple hundred bucks a week on gas. It definitely, at least, at least it definitely takes a, a toll on other things. So expensive. Mm -hmm. Definitely need to be looking for vehicles that can go longer on smaller tanks. Gas prices are up across Canada 8.9% over last year. Groceries, which move in fuel-powered vehicles, up just over 4% and wage increases not even close. Analysts believe rising gas prices are impacting the economy. If your gasoline budget goes out of whack and you have to put more money into buying more gas for your car, you're gonna stop spending somewhere else and that has a direct effect on the economy. Vancouver has the highest pump prices in the country, $1.45 today. Five cents higher than Ontario, 21 cents higher than Alberta. That's because we have the highest taxes on a liter of gasoline, 48 cents in Metro Vancouver. TransLink accounting for over a third of that. Rural BC pays 36.6 cents in taxes. Quebec just over 44 cents. Ontario almost 40 cents. And Alberta just 24.5 cents a liter, half the taxes we pay. British Columbia's gasoline tax is actually the highest in Canada and the highest on the continent in the Lower Mainland. So in the Lower Mainland, you pay 48 cents a litre every time you go fill up your car with gas. It's unsustainable, it's killing families and seniors on fixed incomes, I don't know how they drive anymore. So it's, it's out of whack with what's going on in the rest of Canada. In Ottawa, the opposition is again calling for an ombudsman to look into the price of gasoline. We can start making sure that we put an end to what seems to be right now gouging by the oil companies. With pump prices up, oil companies continue to reap billions of dollars in profits despite a fall in world prices. They blame supply and demand and refinery capacity that's tight. Analysts warn we're heading for a summer in Vancouver that could see record prices well beyond what we're paying now. If the bottom doesn't fall out from under the oil market, and right now it doesn't look like it is, I would say $1.70 a litre is probably a given. Why do I support the Canadian Taxpayers Federation? Because families deserve a break. Because someone has to keep our politicians honest. Because honesty and hard work should be rewarded, not punished. Alone, my voice may not be heard. But together, our voices can't be ignored.